right now I want to talk about the Stratocaster in particular, but I also want to talk about the possibilities with an electric guitar. With me, it's always been a Stratocaster, though. Um, it, you can be very expressive using the controls on the guitar and the various pickup settings and the volume and the tone settings. And um, as far as I know, Leo Fender actually put the volume button here when he invented the Strat with this in mind. He had a friend, Bill Carson, who was playing a Telecaster in a country band. Bill Carson called Leo, his friend, and said, if you put a vibrato bar in the volume button right here, he said, I could imitate a steel guitar. Now, I don't use the vibrato bar, of course. I have a hardtail, but the volume button was placed here for this technique. You know, and um, it's something I love about the Stratocaster because all the controls are right here within the range of your pinky and it's it's very easy to to control the thing while you're playing and something I've always loved was volume button use and it's something I sort of got from Mr. Roy Buchanan who I used to go see when I was a kid and he was the master of it but there's so many possibilities and you can And you, you can try to make it vocal. You can try to make vocal lines by using this. And also, by switching pickups, you can change the mood and the feel in your soloing. It depends on what mood you're trying to establish at a certain point of the solo. And um, there's various tones. <laughs> Now that's kind of very dark and, and kind of eerie sounding, but then when you change to the, the bridge pickup... So it really depends on the feel you're trying to establish and, and what mood you're trying to put over. And the possibilities are really endless. Now, one thing I do on my Stratocasters, I have had them customized a bit. I have the tone control taken off of the neck pickup, and I have it put on the bridge pickup because... <laughs> That way, sometime you can roll off some of the highs if it gets a little bit too piercing. But um, the possibilities are really wide and limitless on an electric guitar if you utilize the controls and you utilize the pickups and the tone controls. And um, it's one of the things that from the time I started playing as a kid that I found just to be so much fun to goof around with, you know? Just hitting a chord on that pickup or hitting it You know, I came up through the ranks in music back in the 60s and uh, I started off as we did back then playing in a lot of bars. I was in bar bands. And back then when you played in a bar, the only thing that was mic'd was your voice. And you wanted the sound in the front, in the room, you wanted it to be balanced. So you had to do the balance with your instrument. And so when I'd be playing rhythm in a bar, I would have the guitar maybe on two or three. <laughs> Then when it was time to solo, 
I would just turn the guitar up because you want the guitar over the level of the band. You want the guitar in the mix that the people are hearing. You want it to be pretty much the same level as the vocals. So I'd be playing rhythm, you know. Then it was time to solo. It was. And you were controlling the balance that the people were hearing. You were controlling that with your own instrument. So that's where I ended up, you know, after doing that for many years, I ended up playing pretty much all the time with my pinky wrapped around the volume button. And um, that's one of the things I love about the Stratocaster more than any other guitar is that all the controls are right here. And they're all accessible with your pinky while you are playing. And um, so that's just the way I play. I know nowadays, um, you know, they mic all the instruments and, and people approach it differently. But coming out of that bar scene in the 60s, that's just the way I approach it. And um, so I, I play my rhythms in the band, my band, with the guitar turned down, you know. It's time for the solo. I got the guitar up. Now you can also, what I find, especially with the Strat through a Mesa Boogie set on the third channel, I can also control kind of the amount of sustain and, and overdrive that I get just by using the volume button. If I had to have the guitar hardly up. get kind of a, a, a big beefy clean but beefy kind of sound out of it that gives you the option of controlling the amount of drive and sustain that you're going to get out of your amp by where you set the volume and I play all night and I'm controlling the volume even when I'm playing solos I might play some notes louder than other notes I might go What I did there, I held the last note and I turned the guitar up as the note was sustaining. So my approach to playing is I am using this thing all the time. And on my old Strat, which I don't use anymore, which is home safe, um, I used that volume button so much that it eventually just fell off and it, it can't be used anymore. I have it set aside safe somewhere that volume button that got a lot of use. But um, so my approach to playing is very old school. I play rhythm in my band with the guitar down. And when it's time to solo, I'm controlling the sustain, the drive, the gain. I'm actually controlling that with where I set the volume on my guitar. And if I have the guitar on about three, you can, you know, the sky's the limit. If I put the guitar up a little more, you get, you get a little more. And then when you go wide open,
So when you're playing your electric guitar, goof around, mess around with your controls and your pickups and get to know the different tones and the different sounds you can get. And it, it will be a blast. I think you'll have a great time.